the business sector. Right. So the the, the yellow, uh, the, sorry, the blue, the blue circle reappears down in the right hand side. Uh, and these are really concerning numbers. Um, and I've talked about these before. Um, you can see the mining investment numbers, the black line falls off a cliff um, and it's not recovering. Um, it started falling in 2013 and it sort of kept going. Now, why is that relevant? Well, we talk a lot in Australia about, oh, the mining boom and how many rocks we're shipping. And I like to talk about shipping rocks, but uh, the most important part of mining booms is how many ports we're building and how many railways and how many mines we're thinking about opening. Because that actually consumes a lot of our services industries, um, our airlines, uh, our infrastructure players and all of that. And uh, that's been a constant slide and it's not getting any better. Um, and, and you can see there that construction, uh, is, oh sorry, other services are flatted, flattened out. Um, and if you go to the top left, you see that business investment has collapsed. Um, and um, that comes as no surprise. But this all has to do with business is not stimulating the economy. There's not a whole lot of multiplier effect going on there. So the government's having to do the work. And that's why they're ratcheting up uh, huge debts, um, because they know if they stop spending, the unemployment queues will go out the door. And what they've, what they've figured out is that they can issue 30 year debt at about a 1.2% interest rate. Um, and doing that is cheaper uh, than unemployment at 15% or 10%, okay? And as you know, for those who've been on these calls and I haven't done it this time, we take the government unemployment rate and then we add the underemployment rate. And we've been saying for about two years that unemployment's about 13%. If you did that now, it'd be about 20, 22%. So we've got a serious number of people who don't have jobs and we haven't yet seen that flow through. 